so I wanted to share something pretty cool, I think. Um, it's pretty deep, pretty spiritual. It has to do with the months of the year, the cycle of the year, the male and the female power. We know the world was created with a bet, Bereshit, a big bet, a big, the letter bet is the second letter of the alphabet, the Hebrew alphabet, and it's the num gematrial number two, numerical value of two. And it represents those two forces, those two energies that God created, allowed to be revealed from himself. This is the male power and the female power, that relationship that is necessary for us to achieve unity, to achieve meaning, to achieve, to use our features and achieve our Olam um, to earn our relationship with God, our closeness to God, the most beautiful love story in the world. So with this God and humanity, but these two work, it works on many levels. You know, it's, it's a deep Kabbalistic concept that I don't really understand, cannot explain on a Kabbalistic level, but on a simple level, maybe we can explain some, some ideas that can be practical, practical for our lives. So the year also is split into two. We know this, a few Rosh Hashanahs of the year. There's a few New Year's, you know, in, in the Gemara, Tanis and, and Rosh Hashanah and, uh, Rosh Hashanah, not Tanis, explains the different moments when we have, we celebrate New Year's. Um, but what does it say? And one of the two main ones that we celebrate is the Rosh Hashanah. Was well, it two opinions? The Gemara says two opinions. The two opinions when the world was created. The world was created in Rosh Hashanah, in Tishrei, or the world was created in Nisan, right? So really, we're speaking about two aspects of creation. It's not that the rabbis don't argue. You know, it's it's it, they don't argue just like that. They're teaching us something, two aspects, two perspective. Rosh Hashanah is the creation of the male power, so to speak, is the creation of the, in, the power of the individual. Um, that's why he created one man, the creation of one person, Adam and Eve united as male, female. And that one being is pushed to, it, it's mostly, that's why we speak, we call Adam, Adam, because it's more male. We don't call Adam Eve, even though he was part of him. We call Adam, Adam, and that's because it's representing the male power to go into the world and to plant seeds. The man to have, that has potential and wants to, who is full of light and who wants to plant. All the well at Sadiq want to go in the world. And so what we have is we have, um, that start from Rosh Hashanah, Tishrei, until... Um, Adar, the first six months. Those are six male months, so to speak. Obviously, within the male, there's a female process, obviously, um, that that exists, but we're not going to focus on that. Uh, be too long. Right now, we're just saying that f uh, we act as male going into this world. Adam is on Shana and he's planting his seeds. It's, it's, it's also the, the fall, right? It's the, the time, the season of fall and, and where we start praying for rain, for everything to be, um, to come into this world and plant the water, go into the ground and starting re ready to give birth on Passover to, to a spring. Um, so meaning even though we're male, the female aspect of us is, to bring birth to something new uh, from, from the male, right? So the male plants, we work on ourselves, we have project, Rosh Hashanah is potential, this is what I can do, this is my goal, these are dreams. And as an individual, I invest into the world, I do some action and I hope, you know, hiding behind the physicality of this world, in the winter, everything looks dead. We hope that my seeds were uh, able to be planted and um, how do you say? It becomes um, sealed with the egg, so to speak. I forgot the the, the conceived, conceived. 
Hanukkah is a moment where kind of we celebrate the what we have achieved and that is a lie that is that we have connected meaning a lie was planted and then from Russia on it's more like of a um process is 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 the birth the internal birth of what's be able to come out from the individual uh, investment we start in the seed as we the winter goes away and passover is coming um and uh, we finish with Ada with a fish, a fish which which also two ends up with two two fishes in the zodiac sign, right? Uh, which all represents also the fish in the water is Puruvu, right? Multiply fish multiply very quickly, very with thousands and thousands of fishes. And so we call on Passover, and Passover is the birth of the f the full female power. It's the beginning of the full female power. Um, is the birth of the collective, is the birth of the Jewish nation. The Jewish nation corresponds to the Shekhinah, corresponds to the female power in the world. And the Arizal has a whole thing on how the Jewish nation was born on Passover, like a baby going out of the mother's womb. Egypt was the, the body. And we are born. And, the, and, and that's where also the Mishkan is uh, built, uh, is, is, is being erected. And because the Mishkan is the house, uh, it, which is the female power, the you know the house, the bait, and it corresponds to that female ability of uniting all all the individuals, um, and that's why you have we have that. So and then we have spring. So everything becomes, everything grows, everything is give, is 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 birth. The light is coming out finally, and the flowers and the fruit trees and everything is being born and we we do the work on doing internal work that's why this right after pesach is um uh Svyat Omer. this is the internal work on of ourself internal work within the collective learning to love each other the student rabbi akiva not giving cover to each other all interrelationship is more of a female work the whole thing from rosh hashanah till Adar in Nissan is more of a male work where we work as more external, doing things in the world, planting, it's more physical, like a man going to work on the outside. The woman is in the house and she works from the inside, it's internal introspection, working on feelings, emotions, the soul deeper, deep, deep hiding, hiding inside. And, um, and if we do that, then, then we're able to have you know, receive the Torah, which was received on Shavuot, uh, which is the inner aspect of, of the world, of, of, and, and, and get the guidance necessary to really give birth to a baby with God, so to speak. That's Tisha B'Av. Tisha B'Av is the time where we're supposed to give birth uh, to Moshiach, time where we're supposed to have a third Bet Amikdash and, and live happy ever after in our house, in the house with God, male and female, the individual and the collective, all united, the house of God for all the nations. That's really what's happening. If we are not able to do that, then it's as if we, um, on, on Tisha B'Av, we lost the baby. It's like, um, I can't remember my words now today. Um, so when, when, when a woman lose Chas Shalom, a baby, which is terrible, um, but that's that's what... That's that's what's happening, and therefore we have seven weeks after that of mourning, for having lost the baby, for not having been able to give birth um, to Moshiach, to the third Besamikdash, to our marriage with God, and therefore we have the seven weeks of consolation, and and as well as the which is connected to Elul, which is Anile Dodi Vidodili, reconnecting to our relationship with God, male, female, I am to my beloved, and beloved is to me, so that we can start another year with more strength as an individual, male and female. It starts with the male, because the male needs to induce that, that power, that, that right, the, meaning Rosh Hashanah, it's, it's, it's the beginning of the year starts with the male. The male is the one that has to make the woman happy has to give to the woman what it needs 
and and we try to really do that uh, in our everyday life um, hopefully husband understand that this is the process it comes from the man if the man is happy and trying to make his wife happy and feels great and invest and then see the woman is gonna give birth to something beautiful is gonna reciprocate be grateful and love him back so we see that the whole year is right tishrei potential individual nissan reality um and birth to to um to that the potential that was invested so i and i want to add to that a little thing about passover is that we had purim before passover purim is <clears throat> how we deal with darkness we deal with darkness really learning to try to um understand that the light is hidden behind the physical behind the elements and it's the man's role to induce the happiness the pleasure the birth the more we are aware of what's happening in the process the more we know this light behind every problem and and we take that approach I go, I go forward to be proactive as a man, the more I'm going to be able to give an easy birth on Passover. Meaning the more as a man, I'm a good person, I work as a good husband. In my relationship, I invest with the good light. The more I'm invested in the birth of what needs to come, and the more I'm able to, I'm going to have an easy delivery. So if we want to love the collective, if we want to love each other, the only way is to start loving myself, to work on myself, to love myself of others. Otherwise, God is going to have to force it some way. And we know that always we break all the boundaries of love. We start loving each other. When problem happens, we all become all united, right? Since Corona, they were we barely heard about war. Everybody is united to try to find a vaccine and all that. But we didn't have to go through that. If we truly love each other and work with each other from the beginning, we will be able to love each other. So the whole beginning, the whole first six months is six months of learning to love yourself as an individual, know what you can do, what's your potential, what's your greatness. And if you do that, then it's much easier than to become, to love the collective, to love everyone, to love every child, all four children from the Passover Seder, to be free in every area of, of your life to fix the relationships. It's all about relationship. So this is what I wanted to share, uh, deep stuff. And I hope I was clear enough, but I think it's a, a very powerful thing to, to, to know because then your whole year makes sense. You understand better how the holidays works because they're all connected to that, those two aspects. And why they're four seasons and all that. It's all uh, about that. And this, the summer light, where there's a lot of sun and light, it's, it's, it's healing. That's why this is during the seven weeks after Tisha B'Av, where the seven weeks of consolation, seven half hour of consolation. We were sitting Shiva, so seven weeks for seven, seven days for seven weeks. The sun is, we know that the light of the sun is healing. So we have a light of healing to try to be annihilated if you recreate a love relationship. Anyway, there's a lot to work with, but I let you with those seeds planted and hopefully you'll be able to use the seeds for your own life. And um, may we all be able to learn to balance our male and female power and um, give birth to beautiful fruits in our lives. And uh, by the way, I have to finish with that. And this is why we see the result says that at the end of time, the curse to the, of the woman is going to be removed. She's not going to be dominated anymore by the male. Um, and she's going to, you know, we see the whole feminist movement. Some of it is good, some of it is bad. I'm just speaking, speaking in general. But the female power needs to be awakened because that's the last part. The same way you have the whole year, that corresponds to an entire life. 12 months correspond to 120 days, which is at the zero. But 12 and 120 is the same, technically. Miss Parkatan. So what's happening is that the 120 years, 
it represents the 12 months and the end it finishes what's the end of time the end of life the last few months is rebuilding the temple being back with Hashem is the female power that being completely revealed the hidden Esther being revealed Megillat Esther's provision to reveal what's hidden inside and all those months of spring and 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 summer is when the woman becomes revealed uh, fully um, that's the reality the Mishkan the Besamikdash and finally finishing with Anile Dodi Ve Dodili that pure marriage at the end of our life at the end of time um, where we become totally in love with God and love with every human being in love with our wife, spouse, and we're love with this male-female powers. All right, enough for today to be continued with more fascinating insight about this world that God created. It's just, everything is fascinating. At least I can I speak for myself that it's, it's it is so much into it that it's, it's just beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed uh, the beautiful thoughts and uh, God willing will continue another time with more secrets of the Torah.